Hi, this is Shorey Amdani and I'm going to present my project for Mat1 course. So here is my project. First of all, we have the local setup.sh. It's a bash script that is used to set up the virtual environment and install the required dependencies. Then what we can do is we can run local run.sh. This basically starts our virtual environment and then eventually our Python server. So what we can do is local run .sh. Now our Python server is running on the local host. So about the project, here we have five different folders. The application folder contains all the uh, controllers. The DB directory contains the database. The env contains the envi Python environment. The static contains the images that we are using. Templates contain all the templates that are rendered by the server. Okay, so okay, so now the project is running on the port 5000 of the local host. So we can log in either as a customer or as a manager. So to log in as a customer, select customer and then log in. Then enter the credentials uh, and log in. So on the home page, all the latest added products are displayed on the home page. Uh, and we can also go to all categories and here we can uh, surf through the products category wise. So we can either write from a product to cart from home page or either from the categories. Okay. So now uh, we have added two products in the cart. Now we can simply see the uh, total and we can place the order. After placing the order, it will appear here. Here is the order. Okay. So now moving to the manager side of things, a manager can add categories, uh, remove, add and remove categories, add and remove products and update products. So here we have all the categories. We can add a category. And here we can add products in the category. Also, this is the open API specification for the CRUD operations by the manager. So here the manager can view all products, create a product, view the product by the given specific product ID uh, and update the product by the product ID and delete the product by the product ID. Same things you can do with the categories. Also, if you have both the categories and the product category ID and the product ID, he can perform get operation using the category ID and a product ID in the URL. 